Now, at this stage in development, the uh, intake manifold, we pretty much finalized the base design and moved into just doing a solid 3D print to get a larger visual representation of what the final unit's gonna be. Um, but to get to this point, there was a lot of background already done, a lot of testing. This isn't a ground up product. It's more of a ref refined and a product that's been revolutionized with the increase in capabilities as far as the manufacturing that can be done in house now. So originally, as most of you guys are familiar with, the DIY kits were composed of a plenum base, a set of billet runners, and an intake flange. Five years, and it's been very successful on a lot of race programs for about the last three. Uh, with the addition of the five axis machine, I made the decision, why not take that, evolve it, and come out with the best possible resolution. A one piece unit with every bit of knowledge that I've learned and gained over the last three years of some of these guys that race consistently, making you know, 12, 1300 horsepower on sport front wheel drive as well as all wheel drive application, taking their input, not just throwing my own ideas, uh, speaking with the tuners that actually tune the cars, uh, and also uh, leveraging my contacts in the industry that go back maybe almost 20 years to use my network to talk to other guys in different networks that specialize in airflow, design, head flow, cam design. And basically I sought out the best and the top guys at their levels to give me the knowledge that I didn't already have. I'm not saying I'm an expert at design, but I know enough guys that I put together a really evolved design on that started with a proven piece that was the DIY kits. So there were some significant changes made. Uh, we went with a different uh, port entry in the plenum where we went from a standardized oval to round, maximized airflow, as well as a much smoother transition, as you can see on the runners, that wasn't as abrupt on the DIY where it was more like the transition that went from the oval uh, to round was over a shorter distance. This is over a longer distance. That aids with uh, airspeed and velocity. And if you can increase that, you're basically keeping the air off of the walls, which is going to reduce your intake air temps. So there's a lot of minute stuff that I didn't even fully understand until the, the big dogs really told me, hey, you know, you need to do this, 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 and this, and this is why you do it. So a lot of things I might have known, but I didn't know why you did it. I kind of learned it over my years of tuning engine management system and fabrication, just correlating those two instances. When I'm on the dyno, I see certain products that perform certain ways, then I look at them. When I fabricate something, I kind of replicate some of those uh, smaller design principles into something I make, so my foundation was sound. So with a lot more background knowledge, it actually ends up making the design process a lot smoother and faster and comes out with what I call a much more of a heavy hitter right from the beginning. There's not gonna be a lot of testing uh, of the unknown. It's gonna be more of refining what we already know with just implementing smaller changes that takes a, what I consider a good product to being a great product and delivering it to you guys at that point. All right, so for everyone that's been following along on the channel, I wanna thank you and appreciate everything you've done to support us. And uh, for all of those that who haven't already done so, make sure to hit the follow button, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on all the socials. Make sure you stay up to date on all of the newest projects, all the details that we have coming. Appreciate it, and make sure to hit the alert button in case I forgot to tell you that. So the first iteration is currently here, which you guys might have seen, which this is all one piece billet. Don't mind the fixture, this is actually the fixture. So we're not 100% done machining because uh, this actually has to finish all of the exterior finish passes on both sides. But the interior, I'm very happy with where we are so far. Uh, the actual, uh, the finishing on the inside of the runners, uh, it's, significantly it's rough enough to aid with airspeed reduce intake air temps and smooth enough to not cause a lot of restriction at the same time it's kind of a blank most guys think having everything hyper smooth is the best way to go but it's not really smooth 
there is a fine line that you can cross and it'll actually hurt you making power, reliability, uh, airspeed, and more importantly, uh, intake air temps. So like I said, again, took that input, implemented it in how I program the tool pass and everything in those things. It's like what you see is just mainly cosmetics. It's actually a lot of science behind it that I'm not going to profess to be an absolute expert, but I got enough positive input from some guys that are experts uh, that helped me bring about uh, this first iteration. So over the next uh, two cycles, I'm actually going to be doing a couple other variants of the 3D prints because we're going to actually go about uh, flow testing those where it won't give you a full spectrum of the full characteristics under the boost. It will answer certain questions without having to go to a fully machined piece and eating up hundreds of dollars of uh, billet aluminum. Whereas I can make those changes, figure out what's the best route and then just change the design and run another iteration. Now, as nice as this might look in its current state, this is not the final uh, unit. Uh, this is more designed around uh, programming. So a lot of this was done just to figure out how to program the part, how to fixture the part, how to make it repeatable, uh, what tooling change is necessary, because it's great to do it on software, but sometimes you still just got to go out, throw it in the machine, see how it reacts, see how much harmonics you get, see the vibrations, see the surface finish, and so this, uh, it will be usable, but it won't be the final iteration of what we end up with. So we're gonna go over to the next step and follow us along as we go do some testing.